This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when I activate polyframes, my model looks bizarre. Now this question was sent along with an image, so here we have the image here. And as you can see, when the user activated polyframes, he's getting this effect. So as an example of this, I'm just going to go to ZBrush here, and I just have the earthquake model loaded in, and I've just hidden all the subtools except for his body. Now with the model here, I'm just going to come over here to this polyframes tab, and I'm just going to activate this. And you'll notice when I turn polyframes on, I'm now getting this effect. So you can see I'm getting this kind of mesh result across the model instead of those normal polyframes. So why is this happening? So the main cause of this is that you have a material selected that has a color bump modifier. And this usually is related to having the bump viewer material selected. So if you come over to the material palette and open this up, down here at the bottom you have a bump viewer material. Now what this material does, it's going to take any RGB values that are on your model and it's going to render them inside of ZBrush as a bump map. So since the polyframes here are being generated as dark lines across the surface of your model, this material is taking those lines and it's now using those as a bump map effect. So another example of this material, if I turn polyframes off and now come over here and just turn on the RGB information of Earthquake, you can see it's taking that RGB information that usually is color values and it's applying this as a bump map as well. So you can see all Earthquake's tattoos through here, since they were darker color, are now being pressed in. So it's giving that inward effect of a bump map. And then even these details around his stomach are starting to generate those different pock marks and skin effects on the mesh. So it's all related to this bump effect that's on a material. So to remove this, you can just simply change a material. So I come into the material here and open this up. And now I can just select a different material, say like the basic material 2. And now I'm going to get Earthquake back to his colored version. And then if I turn off his poly paint, I'm now back to this. And then if I turn polyframes on, I'm now getting this polyframe result. So no longer applying that polyframe as a bump map. Now, if you want to modify the bump map material, you can come back over here and turn that back on. So I'm getting this result again. You can go to the material palette up at the top here and open this up. And I'm just going to dock this to the side quick. And then as it's docked over here, I'm going to open up this modifiers area. And in here you have a color bump slider. And so this color bump slider here is going to determine how much of this bump map effect is going to be applied to your mesh. So if I change this to say zero, I'm now going to get none of that bump applied. And if I change it to a positive number, I'm going to get an outward bump effect. And then if it's a negative number, I'm going to get a negative bump effect. So if you like using the bump viewer material and you just want to remove that bump effect, just make sure you have that material selected, go to the modifiers area, and then here set your color bump to zero. You probably also want to set your reflectivity down to zero as well. So just coming over and clicking that and hitting enter. And then that will give you this bump viewer material without that bump effect. And now you get a polyframe that you can see on your mesh like so. so. Just make sure your materials that you have applied just don't have color bump turned on. And then you're just going to get the normal polyframes instead of the polyframes applied as a bump map. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.